right, our guest today is a multi-talented singer, songwriter, and dancer who's making her mark on music, and she is showing no signs of stopping anytime soon. Please welcome to Fresh Out, Kenzie! <laughs> Welcome back. Oh, thank you. We were joking uh, backstage. You don't remember this, but you were like the first guest on the first episode I ever hosted like four or five years ago. No way. Yeah, and I felt so, I felt, almost felt bad at the time because we made you Fortnite dance. Oh my. You like teach us how to do it. But you know. A lot has changed. <laughs> a <laughs> um, lot. <laughs> now you've been so busy, Kenzie, the past couple months putting out music, of course, uh, you know, we made a little joke there with 100 Degrees. <laughs> um, and then of course, Paper that just dropped this month. What is Paper about? <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's so sweet. Um, well, paper is about seeing your ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend with a significant other and comparing yourself to that person, which I think is really hard, and I feel like we all do it, so. Totally. Yeah. And I feel like social media makes it even worse, right? Oh, 100%. We just compare ourselves to everybody. 100%. And then the breakups are the worst. Now, did you write this from personal experience? Was this like something that you were inspired by, like friends? Any backstory to like the scenario? Um, well, the concept, um, she looks good on paper, but I look good on you, was right. just such a good line. Such a good line. And so I tried to relate it to my past experiences, and I definitely got into a deep dive, and it, it definitely brought back some old memories. Yeah, <laughs> but it's almost therapeutic, right? Oh, for sure. Music yeah. is therapy, yeah. Yeah, and then you make a good point, because I think a lot of artists like you, like you pull from different, it's not about one person. Totally. It's about a lot of different feelings. Of course. Um, we love music videos here at MTV. I wanted to ask you about the music video for Paper. Um, yes. The concept, where it came from, and also just any favorite memories from the shoot. Oh, um, well, the concept, we wanted to kind of have it have a little bit of an eerie feeling. Mm. Um, in the music video, I kind of am like a ghost, kind of just spying on everyone, which is really fun. Um, my favorite memory from the shoot, I mean, we filmed it at a haunted house, which was like terrifying, and a lot of weird things happened. Um, on but, the shoot? Oh, like yeah. The in the shoot. Oh, really? On the shoot. So, like, the ghost vibes were like hot. Oh, yeah, no, it was terrifying. Oh, I gosh. And my favorite part of it, I had to be on like a dolly and had to move and into kind of like a dark room and I was freaking out and I was like, can someone please just like stand in the room to save me just in case anything happens? Cause that'd be the worst thing ever. <laughs> someone was on ghost watch. Yeah. You know? Oh, they had to, I'm terrified. Oh my God, that's <laughs> wild. Um, now both 100 Degrees and Paper were directed by the uh, same person. I, yes. I kind of like when this happens artistically, whether it's like an album with the same producer on every song. Totally. Why'd you want to work with the same director? Well, I'm all about woman empowerment and she's a female director, her name is Bonnie and she was was just the most amazing to work with and 100 Degrees was actually the most fun music video I ever shot. Everyone there was so fun. The environment was just like we were all hanging out, which is not usually a thing with music videos. It's usually really tiring. Totally. So I wanted to keep that going. And so with Paper, it was the same thing. It was just so fun. Yeah. I mean, and, and when you have fun on set, you know, you can test this. It comes through when we watch it. Of band, course. You know? um, who are you like listening to right now? Like, do you have any big musical influences like at the moment? Oh, I mean, I've been listening to SZA nonstop. I feel like. That album, right? It's, oh! it's the best. It's the best. I feel like what's interesting about that album is it's so huge, but then everybody I talk to has a different favorite song. Is right. it one that you're sort of gravitating towards personally? Oh, I like can't pick one. But if I had to, I think it would be love language. Oh, wow. See? Which is an unpopular opinion, I feel like. Um, but yeah, I mean, the whole album, I could listen to it from start to finish, which never happens. So. Oh, and especially nowadays. Right. Know? And that's like a true album. Totally. Um, and that tour should be awesome. Oh, you? yeah. Um, now, you have a huge social following, of course. And uh, you gave your fans a sneak peek of Paper, which uh, it's probably a little, I mean, it's cool for the fans, but it's got to be kind of nerve wracking for you. What was the reception like? Oh, I was terrified. Um, I actually have a really bad rep. I love to leak things. Okay. Um, and I love <laughs> to release music when I'm really proud of it. Right. And I released it two years ago, just on my TikTok, and it got the best reaction. And I would be releasing other music and they'd be like, cool, but where's paper? Like where we've been listening to this forever and we want the full song. And it was just an overall, a really good, um, just everyone was just so amazing about it. And it made me feel so happy. And a lot of people are connecting to it. And it, yeah. it's it's really special. And it's cool to see it pay off because I know it must be nerve wracking then to wait two years. To put totally. It, you know? um, now I hear you're working on your debut album. What can you tell us about that? Oh, um, I can't say too much, but I will say it's definitely me stepping out of my comfort zone. Um, it's gonna be a lot different than the music that I've released. And I've just had a lot of fun creating it. And it's also written, a lot of the songs are written with women, which was really cool. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, stepping out of your comfort zone lyrically, sonically, just the whole everything, thing. Everything, everything. Wow, that's yeah. awesome. 
It's very exciting. Now, um, you've been in the game for so long now. <laughs> if you could, you know, uh, go back and talk to your younger self, maybe give your younger self some advice, other than don't do Fortnite dances on MTV. Right, maybe they, maybe that one. What would, what would be the advice? <laughs> um, I would say just don't be so hard on myself because there are so many people in the industry and we're all trying to do the same thing and we might all have different dreams, but we can all achieve them if we try. Absolutely. And yeah, I feel like I was definitely really hard on myself because I'm also so young and I have to compare to a bunch of older people in the industry, but um, I think I'm definitely getting better at it and I'm getting more confident and I yeah. think the music is definitely helping.